Okay, so I'll just come in here uh, and show you around. Um, that's a, a down light there that we just uh, insulated around, but I haven't cleaned that light out yet. Um, uh, so I'll just show you, we just get one of these battery operated garden blowers and we give that a, a blow out. And that just makes sure that there's no insulation sitting around the light itself. So it's all nice and clean now in there. And then, um, and then this is inside the roof, and you can see, you can see here, you know, we brush over your centers here, so so it's all level with the tops of the joists, um, and uh, you can still see your joists to walk on. If anybody wants to walk up here, it's not not a difficult thing. And there's a, another down light there. You can see how the the cellulose just pumps out all the way to the edges quite easily. And um, and I'll just take you through and show you show you a little bit up this way because this job this job was actually done with uh, fiberglass bats, um, but they they didn't have enough to do the whole job. Um, obviously some DIY person did the, the bat job and didn't finish it but so this is the the bat side of things yeah and so you've seen you've seen what the cellulose fiber look like but there's a big gap there there's a down light there that's got the bat all up and and all over the place and cobwebs all around it um, uh, the cellulose fiber will kill any ants or spiders or cockroaches or things so the, you'll never have cobwebs in the roof with the cellulose but have a look here right? this is the kind of thing that's the problem with bats is that is that that's the, the roof down there the bat the bat's not butted in there properly and one percent gaps you'll lose your efficiency by 30 percent and five percent gaps like that and you'll lose your efficiency by 70 percent and so um, and if we have a look up through the roof a bit further you see how all of these bats are actually got um, quite a bit of dust on them and uh, and you see how how thick that is there it's not very thick but it's nice and nice and yellow on the bottom side and it's all dusty and dirty on the top already and the longer they're in here the more dirty they'll become um, and now already I can see that that's um, had a little mouse playing in there right see how that's all dug in there and and a little bit of a hole in there right that's a mouse building a nest in the bat right? um, and digging in them and so the bats make great little insulated homes for mice and have a look at the the gaps there whoever's done this job has left gaps all over in there um, and all over in there I don't know whether you can see that yep okay um, and look at the, the huge gap that's around the down lights everywhere everywhere there's a down light there's a huge gap and and just a second sorry just crawl through a little bit more and you know and you see how the bats are jammed out towards the edges well on that bay there the bats actually hit the wire so so it hasn't got all the way out to the edge on this bay here they've put the bat on top of the wire so there's actually a big air gap all underneath that bat there in the middle and so it's not doing its job at all and this bat here they've put it down underneath the wire but then they've, they've left that little corner there and they've left this big gap here so um, this is typical of bat installations for you and the cellulose fibre that I just showed you doesn't it look a lot neater than, than this looks um, even around the down lights the cellulose looks a lot a lot neater and a lot tidier so uh, and and you don't have anywhere near the gaps and the job's done right and you don't have any problems with rats or mice building nests underneath all these little hollows and everything that are up here underneath these bats and the borax in the cellulose will kill any of the bugs and 
and it's actually more fire retardant than any of the, these products so all right that's uh so if you want a quote for insulation give comfort zone a call